Hello YouTube. All right, today we're going to talk about the very tactical SKS rifle. This one is mine. So before we get into that, let's uh, do a quick mag check here. Magazine is empty. A quick check. No rounds in the gun at all, so we're good there. All right, so the SKS rifle. Uh, to the purists out there, I'm sorry. I, uh, I tacked a cooled an SKS. Why? Well, why not? Originally, this rifle was did have the original bayonet and the wood furniture on it, but uh, the stock that's on this rifle was given to me by a friend who had it on his, and he was restoring back to wood with bayonet, and he said, well, I don't want it anymore. It's just a cheap piece of plastic. You can have it. So I thought, well, I've never done the tactical approach to an SKS before, so I thought, well, let's do it up and see if I like it and have some fun with it. So here it is. This is what we got. So from the front here, just to show you guys, I took the bayonet off and I installed a mount for uh, sling studs. And you can just attach your bipod to it. I was thinking about getting a bayonet lug mounted bipod, but yeah, I just, this was what I thought would be easier, quicker, better for the sake of the build. Um, yeah, the, the, the Tapco stock that I have here uh, was painted by my friend, you know, he, just put on this paint job. It's, you know, it is what it is. And of course it's a tactical stock, so it does have the six position rear butt stock. Uh, magazines, tactical 20 round magazines. And here in Canada, unfortunately, they have rivets. We have some rather silly magazine laws up here in Canada. So that's kind of what we have to put up with. And I can hear the Americans that are watching this now laughing, yeah. Our rules are that silly, but those are the rules. That's what we have to work with. I don't like them, but that's a whole nother video. Uh, this is an AK-47 sling on the rifle as well. I just thought, why not? Let's, uh, you know, put it on there see if I like it. Eh, looks fine, I guess. Um, what else? I did, man, I did decide to keep the original gas tube cover. This is just wood I rattle canned it. Just to kind of sort of match. I have the original Tapco Pick and Tinny uh, rail mount cover for that, but I have shot other friends, you know, tactical SKSs with that rail cover on there. And I didn't, I just found that the Pick and Tinny was kind of a distraction when you're trying to look down the sight. So I just kept the, the wood on and put some paint on it. Good enough. Um,. You know, that's uh, this kind of leads me to my next part is one thing that I did do with this rifle that you may or may not see in others is I have the AK-47 style mag release. Now up here in Canada, we do have a company that manufactures these and it was only about, I think about $40. And I thought, well, if I'm going to do the build, let's have some fun with it. So I bought the extended AK-47 mag release and installed it in my rifle. It didn't take long, a couple of minutes. You gotta pop a pin out and put the new pin in and install it and good. So there's that. I'll give you guys a quick view of that. There you go, you can see it there. So and I find that you know it's obviously easier to change magazines with that AK-47 mag release as opposed to the original uh, mag release. So but we're gonna have fun and we're gonna do it up. Let's add some fun features, right? Other than that. You know, this rifle's fairly stock. I didn't, there's no recoil buffer in the back. I didn't do any of that. Um, you can put like wolf springs in these. I didn't do any of that. Um, one thing that someone wondered, well, why didn't you put a scope on it? Well, like I said, it, up here in Canada, these are, you know, $200 surplus type rifles. And I didn't really feel like dumping a bunch of money into it. I mean, it's really just a weekend fun gun. So... You know, I, I I could have gone and bought an, uh, a cover that has the pick and tinny on it, and you can mount a scope there. Or I could have gone, and there's a full length rail that I can bought. You take the rear sight off, and you get the the full length pick and tinny there to work with. But eh, I I wasn't really into it, and I thought, well, we'll just go with what I've got, right? So again, it's just a a fun gun. It's meant for 
for my purposes, anyways, it's just something we're going to use on weekends. Take the kids out, or maybe I got a buddy that, you know, doesn't know how to shoot or has never shot a gun before. I can take this out. We can buy a crate of ammo. 762 by 39 is not an expensive round. I think you can buy a crate of it for a few hundred dollars, you know, like 1,500 rounds. And you go out for a weekend and blast away and have fun. And then there you go, right? So that was you know, kind of the idea here. Um, before before the tactical job, it, the gun was just, again, it, it was a it was considered my backup gun. So God forbid I ever had a, you know, an issue with my hunting rifle and I needed a, a quick grab and go to go, you know, go shoot deer with. Well, that was kind of the idea beforehand. But again, I, I don't really need, don't really need that now. And I thought, well, let's make this a fun weekend type gun. So that's all I did there. Um, that's really about it, guys. There's not a whole lot to this rifle that's overly spectacular. It's my tactical build, um, you know, zombies and end of the world and all that kind of stuff. So I guess I'm, I guess, I guess this makes me ready or I'm tactical now or, or whatever. So anyways, I hope you guys like it. Just one last view before we go here. There is my tactical SKS rifle build. So, okay. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys later.